Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Kim Quady with KimPlaysWithPaper.com. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Mesa, Arizona. Glad to be here with you this morning. Um, today, I am going to show you the swap card that I shared um, on the incentive trip that I just got back from in Hawaii. It builds on a card that I made in a previous video, but I will show you um, the foundation and then I'll show you the card. And then um, if you stick with me, I'll show you the 25 swap cards that I received from other demonstrators uh, while I was in Hawaii. So, um, it's kind of an exciting morning. I really like the card I made and can't wait to share it with you. Thanks to Joy and Linda for joining me. So let's not waste any time so we can um, get to all the good cards. I will um, put my camera down so you can see it. You always get a nice little view of my ceiling fan while I do that. Um, Alrighty, so my stamp, the card that I'm using, that I use for my swap, uses two, um, two sets from the brand new catalog. It's from the Hats Off bundle on page 47, and the spiral die that can be found on page 118 in the bottom corner. So, um, last in the last video, I made this birthday card using this spiral die, and there's a fun technique that you use the Stamparatus um, to get this effect. So I will show you that quickly, and then, because um, then you can use any color combination, and you can make any um, any background that you like with that. So. This is um, the swap card that I brought to Hawaii with me. Good morning, Linda. Thanks for popping in. So I actually had um, um, 13 of each of these colors, the pale papaya and the fresh freesia. So what I did was I took the, um, the tie-dye sheet and then I cut the hat out of it to kind of make that hat a little bit more more feminine so um you can tell there's the tasteful textiles 3d embossing folder behind that and then there's also some vellum here um let me share some other cards that i have made um kind of with that hat and the same um theme before i get going that um the die cut, the bundle, also comes with the teeny little hat. So I had some extra pieces and I cut three hats out and then um, made a birthday card with that. Super fun. Um, tie dye is really in. You can see it everywhere from swimsuits to t-shirts to hats. So um, I thought that was super fun. Um, then um, for my Paper Pumpkin subscribers, this was the thank you card. It's very, very basic. Just stamp the hat on the um, the real red card stock, embossed, heat embossed, the life is great. Um, good morning, Lavina. Thanks for popping in. Linda, you should um, really enjoy this uh, set um, when you get it because it's just so many things to do with it. Um so then for uh, the Team Stamp It Blog Hop, I made that card for Father's Day. I don't know if you can tell. So this uses the paper piecing technique. So I stamped the hat on Real Red, and then I stamped the hat on a Knight of Navy, and I trimmed this piece out, glued it onto the red, and then ran it through the... Um, Tasteful Textiles 3D embossing folder. So that's how I created that. Step that up a little bit um, with some ribbon. So you can see I've been having oodles of fun with it. Um, this is the a card I created a tutorial for, and you can find that um, on my blog at uh, kimplayswithpaper.com. All right, so let's just go back, and these are the Card. We're going to actually make the card in pale papaya today. So the thing we need to start with is making our spiral dive um, background. 
Uh, I have a, um, oh good, it's, I'm glad that's on your next order, Kathy. It really is super fun. And then you think about all the different teams, you can use numbers or letters um, to um, create your own special team. So I have a five and a quarter by four piece of white card stock. And I, you can tell I've used this a bunch and I'm gonna slide it in here. Um, kind of hard to tell where I've, but I've put ink. So I want to, I want to be able to see where I put that. It doesn't matter, um, which ink you start with, but I will start with, um, the fresh freesia. going to just get a good, um, ink covering on that. I've got that on my stamparatus and you'll see why that's important. Um, so I've got that going. I'll just slide that down because I know it will hit my... Um, so I'm just going to press down evenly and firmly to try to get a good, um, good coverage on there. And when I pick it up, I can tell if I have gotten all the ink where I want it. Um, I need just a little bit more pressure here. Sometimes that happens you know, right, by the, right by the hinge. All right. Let's see what we, oh, yeah, that's great. Okay, oh, then it comes apart, of course. Um, you know, it's been a few days since I stamped and you just got to get back into it. All right, so I'm going to just take that off of there, scooch everything back, and um, then what you do is you turn that 180 degrees and you put it right back where it was. I'm going to clean this off just quickly with um, a little bit of a chamois that I've um, cut in half or in fourths so that it's easy to um, easy to use with the stamparatus. Just throwing stuff around this morning. Then I'm just going to wipe off that a little bit here with my paper towel. And I'm going to apply the other ink, which is the Pale Papaya. I want to make sure that's on here, I think. Um, but this is a very, very forgiving um, stamp. We get it close, it looks cool. All right. So I'm just gonna give good coverage with my pale papaya here. And then we'll close it and s yeah, that little post-it note, um, because these big background stamps, um, sometimes how do you, how do you make sure they're in the same position? So, all righty. Okay, there you go. So there now we've got, we could use this for any kind of a background like I did with my birthday card or the way I used it um, for my, my baseball cap in that card there, except we're going to do this one. So let me bring in our, so this is the hats off stamp set. It has the hat, a lot of fun different sayings and a lot of different tags that you can put on the um, front of the the hat on the that tag I don't know exactly what you call it so for the photopolymer stamps I'm going to make sure I have my stamp and pierce mat um, what's kind of fun about this size of paper too is that you can get two hats out of that so I mean I used memento ink and um, ink that up and press evenly and firmly right here it doesn't really matter where you um, where you put it on there and then just to show you, I'm, I can flip that over and I can make, I can get two hats out of that. Um, so I, and actually it was pretty, um, pretty easy. I had to make 26 of these to take with me and it, um, they went together faster than I thought. So, 
but it's super fun when it's something you really like. So, um, so there's, uh, I can get two hats out of that. And what's also awesome is that, um, we can use the mini stamp and cut an emboss machine that fits in there. So I will, um, I will bring that out along with my die, um, place that on here, and I'm going to put my die, position that in the right place, and then um, use a sticky note to hold it down so that it kind of stays exactly where I want it to be. And then put that on top. Maybe. And run it through. This cute little thing as I wiggle the table. All right. Peel that off. And I have a hat. Okay. Alrighty. So then what we need are the rest of the materials for the card. We have our pale papaya base. We have a pale papaya piece that um, is cut at five and a quarter by four and run through the um, Tasteful Textiles 3D embossing folder. I have a piece of a basic black and that is um, three and a quarter by three and a quarter square. And also a piece of the um, In Color Designer Series paper, the Pale Papaya. And that is three by three. And then um, my piece of vellum is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. So basically the rest of the card goes together just by um, making the layers. So I'll use my stamp and seal and stamp and seal plus to um, put that together. I'll just put that on the front, trying to get it straight in the middle. That's always a challenge for me. Um, then I'll layer this separately, putting the designer series paper on top of my black. All right, everyone loving the new catalog and getting new things and making fun creations? I know I have been. This is my favorite so far. My husband's family are just huge, huge, huge baseball fans. Um, so I can see me making a ton. I don't like how that, I better not. Didn't go quite straight the way I wanted it to, but that happens. Um, my husband's family are huge baseball fans, so I can see me um, making a lot of cards. They have six kids in their family, or ten kids in their family. Six are boys, so um, everybody will be getting a baseball hat card um, this year for some team or another. And I've already stamped and die cut this sentiment onto the... Um, fresh freesia. So let me go ahead and um, add that to the front of the hat. There's a little spot for it right there. And then I use dimensionals to um, pop that up. And so this is the card that um, I did for my swap in Maui. It was a wonderful, wonderful trip. And thanks to all my, anybody who supported me in any way. It's um, an awesome opportunity. Good morning, Lisa. And yes, I have to agree with Linda getting new Stampin' Up! goodies from a catalog is just like Christmas. So that's how I made, um, how it's how the card went together and made a few of those um, 26. And now I do have some extras for um for myself i tend to hoard them um but the best way to spread some cheer is send them out all righty
Let me know if you have any questions about how that card goes together. I will convert it to a YouTube video. It will also be here on my business Facebook page. And I will make a blog post about it as well. And as I promised at the beginning of the video is I'm going to share the swap cards I received um, while I was there. So I got 25 back. Um, so I will just kind of run through them. And if you need to see anything up more closely, let me know. Sometimes I know who made these and this was made by Diane Carr. The posies. Um, another posy card. Whoops, I'll put those back over here. You can see the designer series paper and the stamp as well. Thank you card. This was made by Tammy Ackerson. Good morning, Jill. Thanks for popping in. I'm just showing some of the cards I received while I was on the Maui incentive trip. Um, these are from demonstrators from all over the United States. Um, this one's really fun. This is also with the paper, but when you open it up inside, it has um, a place for like a gift card. So it's a gift card holder. Um, just super, super fun. That was made by Celine Kempton. This went along well with the Hawaii theme, the aloha, with that embossed at the little thank you um, Hello, embossing folder in the background. Yep, saw lots of pineapples, ate lots of pineapple. Fun card. Uh, let me see if there's a, I mean, that is made by Penny Keener. Alrighty, and moving on, here is like the hand penned. This one's kind of a fun fold. Um, so Don, you'll wanna see that gift card, you bet. I'll see if I can deconstruct it and figure out um, how that went together. But this is a fun fold. Oh, there was even some stamping on the inside. So that's really a beautiful card. Um, we've got this one, Anything is Possible. And it opens as such. So you can see both sides of the designer series paper. Lots of really fun ideas. Little card, big thanks. There's that tag die. Um, again, uh, this is from Chris Slogar. It's really fun. A lot of us use that tasteful textile 3D embossing folder. Um, it just, you know, it's not overwhelming. It gives a little bit of dimension. Um, some of that fun ribbon. Moving on, really pretty again. Let me see if there's Tammy Shia. Is that's who that was created by? Thank you, friend. Using all those um, borders and the thanks. Let's see. This was Liza Zulonik. That's really cool. Just some really, really great inspiration here. Um, this one using, um, and that's a fun, kind of a fun fold too. It opens like that. It's made by Terry Gaines. I'm using the beauty of friendship and then the, uh, the other trees. These don't all have um, products listed on them and I just got back yesterday so I, didn't get a huge list of what's all on them, but I thought that it would be fun to share them anyway for inspiration. Another one using the beauty of the earth and um, beauty of friendship. Just lots of dimension, lots of different elements in this one. And this one was created by Susan Nygaard. Very pretty, all that designer series paper. I did kind of try to group them in in kind of theme order. So have a peachy day. You, can, you probably can't see the wink of Stella on there. Um, but lots of layers, lots of fun. That was made by Marsha Gay. This next one was um, made by 
Amy Story out of Texas, another one with the peach theme. To a Sweet Friend. The Pale Papaya Ribbon. All righty. Um, the next one. It's very, very elegant. Let me turn that over. Lori Krause created that awesome card. And then this is a um, a slimline envelope. Let me. I, and I know they put the card. This is from Faith Clark. So um, created that envelope and um, stamped it. The variety of there's the the butterfly and those elements there that is awesome all righty a thank you card here that uses the um oh it, the those little things escape me um what is that called you know the stuff that it's in that um container that you put on with the heat and stick powder um it, I'll, th I'll think of it tonight after I finish here, but that's really pretty as well. A holiday card using some of the one of the holiday stamp sets and paper that's in the new catalog and as well as some of the dies. Let me give credit if that's on here. Jody Reinert. Gilded leafing. Yes, I know. I think I saw that Don used some of that this weekend to create with. There, yes, thank you. I have yet to play with it. I have a jar and I'm going to, I'm gonna get it out. I hear you use it in little bits. Alrighty, there's the next one. Um, I, there's that embossing folder again. I've seen that quite a bit. This one is from Monica Ghiberti. Lots of fun elements on there. Um, and this is the next one by Car Cara Pizant. Look at all the gold pieces and the die cuts, that beautiful designer series paper, expressions in ink. It's been a very popular um, bit of paper. Some more of that. Morning, Patricia. Thanks for popping in. I'm just showing some of the swap cards I received in Hawaii over the weekend. Some gold. Um, you're absolutely amazing. Here's some of my favorite is that um, the um, glittery vellum in the in colors. You need to get those if you don't have it. Um, that's by Terry Brinkman. Very pretty with those little butterflies. Alrighty, here's the next one. Um, is there a name on here? Um, yes, Tara Skyok. And she also decorated the envelope with um, some of the die cuts, so that's really fun. This one is a photo holder. Um, so it opens as such. There's that little B. And um, so you put your photo in that spot on the front. And that is by Kathy Morgan. It's called a, a diagonal fold card. And then it opens. She's decorated the inside. And that's just very perfect. Cherish happy moments for um, when you put your photo on there, for sure. Okay, and the next one. I hope you get some inspiration from some of these. Again, if you do want me to take a photo and send it to you um, and try to measure some things, I'd love to, love to help you out with that. Oh, I was going to check to see that, who that was from. Uh, Joe Golden. You may, not, you may know some of these uh, demonstrators. Um, the Art Gallery, that's been one of my go-to stamp sets little bit of wink of Stella on in the middle of that flower um, Donna Melker created that card along with some of that um, in color ribbon very pretty and darn last but not least 
the last of our cards, um, this was made by Natalie Travis out of California. Life is better with friends like you. Using the design, um, the in colors, in strips um, to create a background. Let's see, is there any just, and this is kind of a fun fold too. So she's used the background and then um, made a white um, flap for it. That's pretty cool. So there you have it. There are the 25 cards. Again, let me know if there's something you want to see. I will work on seeing if I can get the dimensions for that um, the gift card. And just to show you again, um, I started with the birthday card in a, um, a video before, but I turned that card into, um, now I've got all this pile of stuff here go back so I turned the tie-dye into my swap card made with the hats off bundle used the extra pieces to uh, make some more hats and put um, put those on the background a couple of more hat cards there's a tutorial for that on my blog at kimplayswithpaper.com and I did have some in my big pile um, the baseball cards for dad life is great and then um, this um, paper piecing technique so thank you so much for joining me this morning as I shared um, all the swap cards and some of the cards I've created uh, I hope you've gained some inspiration and you can be able to spend some time stamping during this long weekend Thank you so much for joining me. I will be back here uh, next Tuesday morning at 8.30 with another quick video um, card or technique. If there's something you want to see, please let me know, and I will try to make that happen for you. But again, thanks for, um, for everything, uh, for following me on uh, all of my social media sites. Um, I appreciate it. Take care. Have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye.